Mackay Hurst and, uh, and just recently retired athlete. My past um, two Olympic Games and sailed for the US and also for Australia. I've got a swimming background, surf life saving background. I went to two Olympic Games, 2008 and 2012 uh, for swimming. And then the last several years, uh, I joined Oracle Team USA for a, a, an America's Cup campaign. Uh, so I was a, a grinder on the, uh, the good old 50. My whole family's been involved with surfing and, and surf life saving. You know, from two years old, I, I learned how to surf. Uh, my uncle won a world championship, longboard world championship back in the 80s, uh, Andrew McKinnon. Uh, my great uncle, uh, Keith Hurst, Spaz, won multiple, he swept multiple Australian championships in the boat here for North Bondi as well. Um, so I got a real deep history with surfing and well, with the ocean, the tide with the ocean. And uh, that's how I started. I, I, um, you know, my first cl surf club was Avalon. And it kind of just progressed from there, mate. I fell in love, you know, with the ocean from an early age. You know, I even, I even named my daughter Ocean. <laughs> This is the Sports 700, and uh, yeah, seven meters, but it's it's the girth too, I think, which is really cool, mate. It's just the way it rides, you know. I've been in a lot of a lot of uh, ribs before, and they they're, they're real. Uh, they slap a lot, where this this thing, um, you know, with with the V hull and and the way that the design is just super smooth. So um, you know, for me to be able to put the foot down a little bit doesn't freak out the five-year-old too much. She actually feels pretty good because especially when we hit a bump, usually pretty smooth, you know, wants to sort of skim through it and uh, she doesn't sit there and get, you know, bounced around too badly. And uh, my life's changed as well, you know, it's not about me anymore. It's about catering for, for the rest of the family and the family got to be happy. You know, for instance, you know, for, for us to be able to go from Pittwater across to the Central Coast with a 30 knot, you know, westerly and Mate, there wasn't a drop on us, and, and that's what the missus wants. She wants to be able to know that she's safe, for one. She can jump on the boat and not get wet because she doesn't like getting wet too much, especially when it's cold. And uh, But at the same time, know that the kids are safe. I mean, I'll always keep an eye on them, no matter what. And uh, we can kind of get anywhere we want, um, no matter almost the depth of the water as well. It's a boat that I can rely on. You know, the hull, having an aluminium hull, I feel a lot more secure too. I've had boats before in the past where they're fiberglass boat hulls and I don't know, it's just, it's just a different feeling. It, you know, it, it rides really well in the swell too. 26 degrees of dead rise, so that within itself, it allows me to sort of cut through what I need to cut through. You know, we, we saw it today, it actually, I tried to hit a couple of those waves with a bit of ramp on it, but it just wanted to, you know, sort of palm it out each way and we just sort of glided through. I've got a little bit of air and a little bit of height, a little bit of angle on it, but uh, not as much as some boats. Yeah, I, I guess the, the changes now with the, the Highfield 700 sports is that, uh, you know, definitely the stern of it's changed up a little bit more. The, the, we've got the swim platform on the back. I think the 200 is more than enough power to be able to push this boat through. It's, uh, you know, we, we were sitting on almost 40, you know, 40 knots really comfortable before and it was just planing through the water really nicely with the nice right amount of trim. The swim platforms are perfect, got the ladder on the back. The good thing with the kids too and the missus is that they want a shower and so to have the shower off the back is just perfect mate, it, it just answers everything we need. I think it's just ideal to be able to have a bench seat at the back too. Um, usually the family hang down here. At the back of this little bulkhead is, uh, they've got a table that sits up, which is ideal. And then, mate, this is comfortable too, because what happens here is, you know, I can sit with a little foot rest platform, but at the same time, if you want to stand, you know, the seats kind of fold away. So I can kind of pick and choose what I, what I want to be able to do, whether I'm sitting or standing when I'm behind the wheel. You know, the amount of space up the front too is, is perfect. So we've got heaps of room to be able to move around. It also has a little section up the front. It's like it turns into a day bed. And so for me, that's good too, because I normally have it in. You know, if the kids want to have a little sleep, they'll, they'll lay down. There's more than enough space for them to be able to do that. Um, storage is relatively good. Um, you can always have more storage, I think, with boats. Um, but, you know, for, for me at the moment, you know, all the life vests, all our safety gear is in the back. Um, all my wetsuits is absolutely perfect. Um, there's a bimity that comes with this. Um, I've just ordered the bimity too, to be able to have that option. I think is absolutely ideal. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that leading into summer, especially having a boat like this in Queensland is really super important. 
mate, it, it gets up on the plane real quick. Once you're up on the plane, you can drop the revs and, uh, and sit there quite comfortably. You know, I can sit on three and a half thousand revs, between three to three and a half thousand revs up on the plane and it just purrs. It's, uh, it rides really well. Um, you know, the flooring, I went with the black EVA flooring and uh, I get questioned whether it's a little bit hot in Queensland, but I've had no issues with it. My 10 month year old, you know, she, she walks around and uh, certainly doesn't get burnt. My first mate on board, uh, Tommy Herschel. He's been a good mate of mine since, since high school, pretty much. We've, uh, we've known each other for a long time, so. He's one bloke that I certainly couldn't have not taken out on the water if I was down here. Mate, Tommy Herschel is my name. Um, from Tugan on the Gold Coast. School teacher by trade, but now work with young fellas. Sort of taking them past the How Are You? So I've got an organisation called Find Your Feet. Give young fellas a platform to tell their story, skills to sort of own their stuff, and then the tools for them and their mates to sort of carry on with that culture. Yeah, picked him up. We uh, we dashed across to uh, the Central Coast, and mate, we were lucky enough to find this perfect little right-hander off your minor point. Um, and uh, yeah, how lucky were we? You know, a lot of people reckon you need a thousand mates, so you need a hundred mates. But when you got a genuine mate, you only need one. And that's how, that's how I'd, yeah, put words to, to my mate there, Kai, yeah, for sure. The value of having a boat, um, you know, to get to those, those waves that we went to, but then even further afield, like out to Buggeries or to, you know, Maitland Bay, you know, you're getting into a place where guys are normally gonna walk 50 minutes to an hour. Uh, got a couple of waves in on the way out, we managed to, to cast the line and fortunately didn't catch anything. But uh, we thought, you know, with the, the favourable winds to get over to that side and, and try and get it while it was offshore, um, got some good waves in and, uh, and then scooted over to the box, which, um, mate, if anyone knows the air and, and knows the box, that place gets absolutely it just fires and um, you know, we're, we're lucky again to get a couple of little waves. There's not a lot of swell, it's a real south swell today, but um, you know, really blessed to, to be able to get something out there. For a trip like a day like today, you're excited, you know, so you, you're all over the place, you're scattered trying to collect boards and, and you've got all your gear. The one thing you want to be able to do is literally just get straight onto the wharf when you get on it and just throw everything in. You don't have to stuff around with how you're going to tie up, how you're going to get on. You know, like just straight up the simple um, platform at the front where you can just step on and walk down and then put your boards, you know, up against a soft wall is absolutely perfect. Um, you know, places to put your fins and, and your wax, sit comfortably, you know, up on the cockpit or the centre console there. And then the ride, like to get over there and still be dry and still be warm. Um, pretty much makes it, you know, the perfect boat. And then to think, you know, we're throwing lures around and to know that, you know, the, the um, bladders on it are all completely safe to, to be able to fish in. Yeah, I mean, what else, what else really do you, do you want? And then, you know, 200 yammy on the back, like we are there, we were from Central Coast to here in 15 minutes. So, yeah, perfect. What do I love about the ocean, mate? The... <laughs> For me, it's, a, it's, it's my life, I live and breathe it. Without it, I, I, I'm not sure who I'd be. Um, it, it shapes who I am. You know, I, I guess if you, if you, you put a, a rock, a, a something solid underwater, you know, that water over time is gonna shape that rock and, and uh, I guess that's me, I'm, I'm the rock and that's, that's the water at the de end of the day has shaped the person who I am today. And you know, I can go all, on all day about why I love the ocean. And uh, you know, at the same time, I've almost lost my life in the ocean multiple times. So, which probably wouldn't be a bad thing. I'd prefer to go here than on land. So for me, it's really not, not an issue, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm not ready to go anywhere. I've got three kids I want to watch grow up.